Okay. Um, so um, I'm, I'm going to start. It's uh, 11.30 uh, local time. So welcome to everybody, especially uh, to the students, or let's say the prospective students. Uh, you are really very welcome. Uh, we are very glad to have here. Hopefully someone else will join us uh, in a couple of minutes. So this is just to uh, introduce myself. I'm uh, Giovanni Porzio, and I'm the Vice, Rec Vice Rector for International Affairs for the University of Cassino and Southern Lazio. And it's my pleasure today to chair this uh, session. Uh, the aim of this session is to present uh, in detail the programs offered by the engineering departments uh, at our university. Uh, there are three programs uh, starting this year. I mean, next uh, academic year, two are already set up and are the telecommunication engineer and mechanical engineering. And from the next year on, we will also have a civil uh, engineering. Uh, before starting, uh, I just um, I'm going to say a few words about uh, um, next uh, academic year during this pandemic uh, story. This is a question from many students from abroad. What will happen? And uh, does the class is started, does the international students uh, will be admitted to the university? And we uh, fortunately have an answer. And the answer is yes, the classes will start, the program will start, international students are welcome they uh, need to apply in the way that will be communicated to them in, uh, as soon as we will have information from our government. But what is the most important fact that in case of delay in visa release, because there is the chance that at least in some countries there will be a delay in visa release, so we have em Italian embassies close in some countries, in such a case students can still apply and um, begin their study program in time, in September, uh, through online classes. Uh, we as University of Casino have already organized and are ready to start with uh, this kind of organization. Classes will be both in presence, that means in the teacher will be in the classroom with the students that will be able to stay in the classroom. At the same time, we will have online um, classes or in a streaming or similar way so that people that is not able to get the visa in time can start have their classes from their home and then during the semester at the end of the semester they will come to casino to Italy and will have the exams as all the other students so that's the organization of um, our university for the next semester so international students are more than welcome and I'm really it's a real pleasure for me to communicate this uh, kind of uh, procedure and organization uh, we have set up. And actually, um, the first uh, person I ask to present and to, uh, I'm going to give the words is uh, Professor Francesco Iacoviello is not only the responsible person for teaching of the depart engineering departments, but also responsible for the online teaching of the university. So it's uh, by ch not by maybe by chance, but maybe not really by chance that we have the opportunity to listen uh, to his uh, his words. So Francesco, uh, it's up to you. I'm really nice to see you again, once again. Thank Please. you, Giovanni. And yes, I am very popular in this period, thanks to the virus. And uh, <laughs> well, I'm very happy to meet you here in this moment. Uh, the virus gave us the possibility to organize these online meetings. This is the first time for us we organize a Unicast Orienta uh, in this uh, form. So we are very happy and uh, we will probably repeat this uh, new approach also next year because uh, we know that it was really appreciated by by the, our prospective students. Uh, well, just a few words. Uh, as already Giovanni said, we have uh, three different courses. The first one, the oldest one for us is telecommunication engineering. And uh, our colleague, my, my colleague, um, Professor Migliore, will tell you the details of this uh, uh, possibility. Uh, mechanical engineering, it was uh, activated only a couple of years ago, but uh, it is. Uh, 
going very well, and uh, both uh, courses are, are are really appreciated by the students. So we know that uh, uh, the courses are um, find a very good uh, a very good uh, connection with the students and with our uh, industrial field. So we have the possibility then for the students to find a job and to have a good uh, relationship with the, the national and the international industrial environment. Uh, third, last but not least, uh, in the next uh, weeks, we hope, we will have the final approval for our uh, the third uh, branch, I mean uh, civil engineering, and uh, we are sure that it, it, this course will be also uh, successful because we have very, motiv very motivated uh, professors and uh, our labs and our uh, structure is able to uh, offer a high quality uh, um, didactic activity. So this is only just a few words, and I can give the word to uh, Marco. I think we can start with him. Okay. Thank you very much, and uh, um, it's my pleasure to uh, introduce uh, University of Cassino. Uh, Okay. Okay. I I suppose that now yes. Uh, you can see uh, the slides. Uh, first of all, welcome to everyone. Uh, it's very exciting to be here. Uh, to present the University of Cassino, in particular the international programs in, on Masters of Science. Uh, and um, uh, before introducing the... Uh, uh, Marco, sorry, go in the presentation mode. Go in the presentation mode, please. Oh, sorry, we'll I... Go in the presentation mode. I, I think I am in the presentation mode, because oh. I see... Oh, sorry. I don't know why it's not here. I I asked to be in the presentation mode. Okay. And now I suppose that I am in the presentation mode. Oh, uh, it is not. Never mind. Go ahead. Never mind. Go ahead. Probably from from the PowerPoint. You have yes. To... From, from you have to go in the PowerPoint file and select. Uh, Presentation. No, I don't think. Yes, yes. Yeah, that one. Riproduci dall'inizio. Yeah, this that one. one. Riproduci, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, so, okay, so welcome to everyone. And uh, uh, before um, introducing the, the courses, I want just to spend a few words about the University of Cassino, just, just to give some uh, brief information. And the University of Cassino is a public institution. Uh, it's founded, uh, it was founded in 1979, uh, and we have a, a large number of courses, um, many of them in Italian, and we have, uh, besides the Italian courses, a number of uh, uh, courses in English. Uh, and um, uh, we have economics, business, engineering, humanities, law, sports. Uh, and this presentation is uh, focused on the uh, engineering master degree. Uh, Cassino is a small city. It's uh, between Rome and Napoli. Uh, a bit closer to Napoli, and it's uh, um, it's easy to to reach Cassino. Uh, you can, uh, of course, there are airport in uh, Rome and in Napoli, and there is also a quite um, comfortable train from Cassino to Rome and Cassino to Napoli. Uh, almost one train e each hour, uh, and Cassino is a small and. Uh, Quiet town. Uh, it's um, uh, it's a relatively uh, cheap. Uh, it's cheaper than other countries uh, compared to Napoli, compared to Milan, Milan, Rome, and so on. 
and this is uh, a map of the union of the uh, you know the city of Cassino and here we are um, we are here in this moment uh, this is the engineering department uh, and uh, um, Cassino uh, University of Cassino has many buildings you can see here directorate uh, and international where there is the international office uh, this is the train station and it's uh, almost uh, uh, a quarter of an hour by walk uh, from the engineering department so it's very very simple to reach the department uh, and these are other places uh, that are interesting uh, for um, foreign students so it's the police station for the passport uh, and other uh, other buildings, they are all mm, quite close uh, to the engineering department, uh, so it's easy to walk in Casino, and it's also a quite safe town. And uh, uh, we offer uh, three uh, master: the master in mechanical engineering, the master in telecommunication engineering, and the master in civil and environmental engineering, that is new. Uh, it has also the possibility of dual degree and my colleague uh, <clears throat> um, Maura Mbimbo will uh, talk about this interesting possibility uh, and uh, we are um, quite a large number of laboratories uh, that are used for teaching or also for, uh, for research, uh, almost 14 laboratories, one big anechoic chamber uh, for uh, measurements on antennas and uh, on uh, comp uh, electromagnetic compatibility, uh, a number of computer classroom and one library. And these are the enrollment documentation. Uh, I'll uh, skip this, um, uh, this slide because uh, Laura Morone talked about uh, these points in the first part of the presentation. Uh, <clears throat> And uh, I just um, uh, recall that um, it's, there is the possibility to have scholarship and uh, there is Lazio Disco that gives a scholarship for uh, students, including foreign students. Uh, and um, studying casino means also the possibility to go uh, around Europe and around the world. Uh, we uh, have a number of uh, um, of programs for mobility to Europe and also out of Europe. In particular, the Erasmus program allows the students to go to other universities to study. And then, um, of course, the credits uh, that they gain in other, in other, in other university, universities are, uh, of course, uh, accepted by, uh, by our university. So um, it's, uh, it's a great uh, possibility uh, that uh, the most part of our um, foreign students uh, uh, use to increase their um, they knowledge uh, on the different field of, of, uh, uh, of engineering. Uh, and um, then, uh, well, we have, of course, uh, study, uh, a lot of laboratories, a lot of, um, uh, of course, um, a lot of uh, classroom, but also uh, there is the possibility to have, um, let us say, free, uh, free time. And this is, for example, a, a photos. Uh, this is the, the, um, uh, the engineering um, building. And uh, just to have an idea of the, the life uh, of students in Casino, I added also these, uh, these photographs. They are photographs that uh, my students sent to me about some moments uh, of uh, the life in Casino. And uh, for example, this is um, in, in the classroom. Uh, these are some moments uh, during the, the teaching, uh, the, mm, the teach, uh, this is, uh, well, this is the Lauria, one of the most exciting moment, of course, and uh, um, students, foreign students organize a number of uh, nice parties. This is one of their party. And also we have a nice holy festival, a uh, very colorful, colorful party. And uh, uh, here 
I am here with my students and this is a moment during the exams. So this is just a, a, to give a general idea of what is the, the life of a student in casino. And uh, so after this uh, general um, view, I enter into the details uh, and um, well, I start with the Master of Science Telecommunication, Eng of Science Telecommunication Engineering and then my uh, colleagues, uh, Maureen Bimbo and Fausto Arpino will talk about the other Master of Science that University of Cassino uh, offers. And uh, well, um, the, the goal, let us say the good admission of the um, uh, telecommunication, um, the telecommunication master is to prepare um, um, engineers uh, for uh, the new uh, telecommunication systems. This means 5G, this means new radar systems, this means new fiber optical um, communication systems. And uh, um, we, um, the, the master degree is uh, um, two years um, long, and the language is English. All uh, in all, the courses are in English. Uh, the enrollment, well, uh, this is a date of enrollment, but due to the uh, virus, uh, we uh, have we are evaluating the enrollment. Uh, starting um, date um, since um, probably uh, as uh, uh, Professor Porzio told you um, it will be possible to uh, attend the courses uh, on web uh, at least at the uh, in the first part of the um, uh, of the um, of the program uh, so we are we are um, uh, less, we are talking a bit about this starting date and you'll be uh, informed about the, the the date in a few weeks and the total um, ACTS are uh, 120 uh, and um, these are the subjects subjects the first year uh, there are electromagnetic and communication basis courses and also measurements for communication systems uh, and uh, of course a, 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 a course of mathematics. And then the second year there are the specialized courses. Uh, they are uh, basically uh, digital communications, electronics, uh, microwave theory, telecommunication systems and then there are three elective courses that you can choose uh, in, in a quite range uh, number of, uh, of possible courses that includes for example uh, robotics, uh, array design, cryptography, network security, radar applications and so on. So um, this is a course that uh, allows to give you a quite broad range knowledge on communication systems and uh, we are of course uh, a number of connections with uh, with the factories uh, and um, uh, this is for example an, uh, a meeting that we had in, in a factory uh, and um, these are some photos that I have been uh, that I copied for from the, the web uh, website. Uh, we have a number of supplementary services um, including Google Classroom. All our courses are on Google Classroom. Uh, all the students uh, can um, are allowed to download a full version of the MATLAB program. Uh, as I told you the language course is English, we have a social network and all the information are available on the site Bububu Telecom Unicas uh, home uh, that is this site and so on this site we can uh, find more information of course we can uh, also um, write um, email me and I'll be happy to give you any information uh, 
you decide about the Master of Science in Telecommunication Engineering. And so uh, this concludes my presentation and uh, uh, I invite um, um, this, um, I don't know if the second uh, one is Fausto Arpino or Professor Maron Lindo, I don't remember. Yeah, it's, it's me, it's me. Professor Maron Fausto Arpino. Yeah. Okay, do you see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, good morning, everybody. Uh, and uh, I'm really happy to be here, even though only virtually, let's say. Uh, so, in this uh, short presentation, I will talk about the Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering. As Professor Iacovello said, this uh, Master of Science started just a couple of years ago, but uh, we have a large number, relatively large number of students. The mission of this course is to prepare uh, engineers with a strong skill in design, uh, innovation, new technologies, uh, material choice and optimization, um, energy management, environmental preservation, and so on. And future engineers will be able to work not only in the productive field, but also in research and development. Also, this Master of Science has a duration of two years with a total credits of 120, including classes, uh, trainship, and thesis. Uh, and uh, uh, is completely taught in English, obviously, and is uh, organized in four semesters. I don't want to go into the details, but uh, just few information. The first semester will start typically starts at the beginning of November, uh, even though this year, as everybody knows, there, there is this problem of the pandemic coronavirus, so we will see how we will start. But anyway, it will start at the beginning of November, and the first semester is uh, composed by only core courses. But starting from the second semester of the second year, students are required to uh, present a study plan because they have to choose among seven elective courses while not classes are scheduled for the last semester uh, but only internship and master thesis are scheduled for this semester to apply uh, for the Master of Science in Mechanical Engineer, some admission criteria must be satisfied. The main criteria are an English level certification and uh, a bachelor degree in Mechanical Engineering obtained in first class of better. But obviously, uh, an evaluation committee will evaluate different uh, bachelor degrees, I mean, in different fields of industrial engineering and this evaluation will be made on the basis of university transcript. Students can enroll uh, as full-time students with a total duration of two years or part-time students with a total duration up to four years. And uh, uh, all information about uh, how to apply, about uh, uh, trainship, teaching, admission criteria, and so on, are available on the mechanicalengineering.unicast.at website. So I really invite students to visit this, this website to find all required information. In this website, there is also a dedicated page for application that guides students step by step in the application process. Uh, so it's actually very easy to apply and all information about required document are clear and available on the website. I will skip this slide because uh, Professor Miglior already said, uh, already talked about supplementary services available for enroll students. And uh, I will finish my presentation with reference persons. As a delegate of the industrial engineering president, uh, I am actually a reference person for mechanical engineering students. So for any doubt, for any information you need, you can write me an email. Uh, here is my email address. I will answer as soon as possible to uh, your email. So that's all. And uh, I believe we can go ahead with uh, Professoressa Maura in Bimbo. Thanks again. Uh, thank you, uh, Fausto. 
hello to everybody. I'm very glad to be here and uh, I'm very glad to present uh, uh, the new Master of Science at University of Cassino within uh, civil uh, field, and the name is the Civil Environmental Engineering. But as Professor Jacobiello told you before, we are still in the process of final approval of this Master of Science. We already uh, had the approval of uh, the first important step and we are very close uh, we, are, we are approaching to the conclusion of this process so I'm going to uh, present you some spots about this program and uh, I'm uh, inviting you very soon in another presentation in order to uh, illustrate you all the details uh, the, the mission of the course Maura, Maura go in the presentation mode uh, yeah, yeah you're right Sorry. Uh, the mission of the course is to, um, to, to form uh, new engineering uh, to understand and to deal with the global issues of civil engineering, but with a particular concern to its interaction with the env environmental issues. This is the reason why we name the program uh, civil and environmental engineering. And of course, uh, uh, the important thing is to form uh, a engineering with an exposure to an international environment. Um, environment. Of course, the program is a two-year program, uh, so a first year and a second year, and uh, the total credits are as all the master program 120 and it includes classes of course trainship and uh, a thesis work and all the classes will be in english uh, the beginning of the, the the classes depends depends on the pandemic situation and so we will uh, let you know as soon as possible but also in uh, on this program we will be able to deal with the online lecture uh, so there are th these two years of, cro of course the details are working in progress in progress uh, so what i'm going to illustrate you is only the scheme the architecture of the, the program so we have mandatory courses within the following area geotechnical engineering earthquake engineering water reserves and hydraulic engineering structural engineering highway design and traffic engineering engineering geology and environmental engineering and we have also some elective courses in the area of material science and engineering applied metallurgy instrumentation and measurement for monitoring uh, electromagnetic compatibility and electric power system engineering other activities will be the master thesis which is mandatory of course trainship which is on choose or by the student and there are also seminars and other valuable activities such as for example classes uh, taken from other universities or summer courses uh, in the in this program we also have an, a curriculum that we call the dual degree uh, in collaboration with the Tandon school of engineering at new york city where the students could reach uh, at the end of the two years uh, both the Italian degree of uh, laurea magistrale and the Master of Science, the American Ita uh, Master of Science in the United States. Uh, here are some uh, pictures of a previous uh, dual degree because the dual degree, we had the dual degree also before this master program and these are some images from New York City and from some students attended the dual degree uh, and this is also uh, some other, these are our a picture from uh, New York from some summer school at New York because as you as uh, um, Professor Migliore told you we have also as the University of Cassino a residence in New York City for students and uh, I am the reference person as uh, uh, you know uh, this is my email you can uh, uh, 
write me and I'll write you back as soon as possible. We don't have yet a website because, of course, we are waiting for the official uh, approval of uh, the, the course. As soon as we get this, we will start with our website. But we have, of course, Facebook and uh, Italian website of the university. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, if I remember right, now we, sh mm, we should have uh, uh, the talk of uh, students from mechanical engineering. Uh, he is a student of the first, uh, you know, first um, edition, <laughs> let's use this word, of mechanical engineering. Um, the name of the students is Ramamurti. Is he online or not? Uh, Kirubaran Ram Ramamurti, okay, are you there? Yes, sir, I'm online. Okay, so uh, your talk is basically to give information about everyday life in Casino and your experience basically at the University of Casino. Hoping this is useful for future students. Thank you. First of all, good afternoon to every honorable officials and respected professors of Unicast. Uh, we, we don't hear you. Sorry. Uh, no, sir. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, now? yeah, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, to every one of the honorable officials and respected professors of UNICAS and also the to the students here and I am Kribagaran Ramamurthy currently the second year uh, master's degree student from mechanical engineering so basically uh, one and a half years ago I was uh, in the same situation as every one of your students like uh, wanting to take the right decision whether I have to pursue my career in casino in Italy to do the master's here so I want to share my experiences and views on the uh, on my experience in, with uh, Unicast. So basically, the first uh, primary concern for the students is about the um, how the courses will be, how the syllabuses are. So I can guarantee you that uh, the Unicast has a up-to-date um, syllabus, and with uh, more than eighty percentages of uh, the syllabus is about. Uh, practical solutions to the practical exercise uh, um, so, uh, problems. So the exams are also based on practical exercises because you will be taught and softwares for each and every um, courses. Then the exams are concerned, uh, conducted based on the projects done by you. And uh, it's basically uh, you have to do a, uh, individual projects for the semesters for the courses that uh, your professors provide. So you have to do that project. So there is no uh, need to memorize the concepts. So you just have to use the practical application of the of those concepts. And then uh, the exam is also conducted on the basis of oral examination. You have to explain how to how did you do the projects and everything. So it's much better uh, exam pattern than many other countries. So that's how uh, Unicase is better than uh, many other universities. And basically, uh, the exam systems, uh, because you are allowed to take three attempts for the same subject in every uh, semester. So it relaxes you from the exam pressures. So currently in Germany, it is like one exam per one exam attempt per semester. But in Italy, we can um, go on with a relaxed uh, mindset. You don't have to pressure about uh, exams. So that's a, a wonderful thing about uh, Unicast. And also you are allowed to take an, um, a second attempt uh, if, you are, if, you don't, if you are not satisfied with your current marks. So that uh, provides an actual relaxation to the uh, exam point of view. So, and then the professors. Uh, I, I, have, uh, I have experienced uh, hospitality of uh, professors. They are uh, always available to uh, clear your doubts even the silliest of uh, doubts. And uh, 
and other things about uh, Finicash is like the another exciting opportunity of Finicash is they provide the Erasmus program. Currently, I am a student of uh, Unicash, but I'm currently studying my second year in R RWTH University, German. So it provides an excellent opportunity to go to another university to explore the new culture and new education system and more uh, many other things. So not only for Erasmus, uh, for studies, but also for internships. So currently, many of my classmates are doing their uh, other uh, Erasmus programs in Poland, Turkey, and everyone. And uh, some of them are doing in Erasmus internships in Spain. So it gives a wide scope of uh, opportunities. So next uh, thing I have to talk about is the uh, also the part-time jobs uh, available from the university itself. So you can be a uh, student assistant in the library, or you can be a um, member of SORT who can uh, who helps other people uh, newcomers for uh, their registration and enrollment so it's a wonderful opportunity for part-time opportunities available at uh, university itself and uh, many other things the events conducted for academic uh, purposes like um, yesterday and today are the career day of uh, unicas so basically you get a lot of uh, job opportunities uh, by going to the uh, career days and um, and the other things we have to talk about uh, is that uh, the city, the casino. It's a wonderful city. Um, and you uh, receive a um, hospitality of the uh, kind people over there. So it's a wonderful place to stay. And uh, the cost of living is much, much uh, lesser than uh, compared to other cities and other countries. So it's possible that we can survive here with the scholarship amounts uh, provided by the last ADSO. So that is one of the major uh, advantage of being in Unicas, and uh, the, probably for uh, for our vacations there are a lot of uh, heritage sites all over Italy and uh, one of the world the wonders wonders of the world is Rome Colosseum. It's just an uh, hour and a half drive away from uh, Casino. So everywhere you go around Casino there are many heritage heritage sites. So that's a wonderful thing about uh, Unicas and. Uh, uh, the major concern for other uh, incoming students is about their uh, Italian language. So even if they don't know uh, Italian language, uh, it is possible that they can uh, learn Italian language from the schools in uh, for, by registering registering for uh, evening classes in schools in casino. So that is one of the bigger advantages. And uh, other things I have to say about uh, the other academic events like. Uh, Last year, uh, SKF Innovation Challenge has been conducted in Unicas, and uh, many uh, three field trips to industries have been conducted. So there are wonderful opportunities all around uh, in Unicas, um, and also for uh, mechanical engineering in uh, Unicas. So I hope uh, you will start a wonderful journey here with uh, Unicas. And these are not just the words from for the sake of this meeting, uh, but it truly my experience with the Unicas. So I hope uh, a wonderful journey ahead of you for uh, every student. Thank you. Perfect. I think- I Thank you very you. much. Thank you. Thank you very much. We can move to the other interview. Yeah. I, I would like to introduce uh, <clears throat> Lehoa Nguyen that uh, was a student of telecommunication and engineering. And uh, I invite her to talk about uh, her experience in casino uh, and uh, uh, your idea about uh, the um, telecommunication courses in general on uh, the University of Casino. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Can, can you hear me? Yes, yes. Uh, okay, yes. Uh, I'm Lei Huang Yim. I finished my master's uh, degrees in telecommunications engineering as casino last year. And now I'm a first year PhD student at the University of Trento in Italy. And um, my experiment at the, at the Unicast is wonderful. And I, I, I'm 
I met many um, nice professors, uh, and the cross in uh, and the cross in telecommunication engineering is so informative and practical, uh, e educational and uh, enjoyable. Uh, our professors uh, explain boring uh, things of engineering in an easy and understandable way, and um, at Unicast, I can meet my uh, professor, uh, he, uh, my professor Francesco. Uh, yes, and he and he helped me to apply for a PhD uh, scholarship uh, at the University of Toronto. And my current and my current topics in PhD program is about quantum computing, and yes and um in and within my three years at unicast i i can have the opportunity to study uh in to, to to study abroad again in germany for my second semester uh within the erasmus uh exchange studying and i also have a Another opportunity to get uh, to get a uh, to get an internship uh, in one in one Belgium in one Belgian companies in Belgium in Belgium for my internship for my doing internship to finish the course and yes and I think my time at Unicast is uh is good it, is uh un unforgettable to me because I feel I mature, I feel I grow up, I feel I felt confident to myself more after I study uh, at Unicast. And about the living in casino, I think the cost of living in casino is so is is so cheaper than in than in Trento. The 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 current city I am living now is much more expensive than casino, but uh, but uh, but luckily I have scholarship and I think I can uh, afford the cost in uh, the cost of living in um, Toronto, and yes, uh, international student as Unicast is so nicely too. Uh, we will have many. Uh, multicultural events to join, like like colorful, like the uh, Professor Marco State, and we have um, we have also Vietnamese uh, festival for Vietnamese student in Italy. If you want, you can join us to understand Vietnamese culture. Yes, and I think yes, and, and I think that's all for my. The uh, experiment when I living in casino, and I so I am so happy to hear, uh, connect with um, with the potential student who want to if 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 anyone want to know more about the, uh, how to get the the internship in um uh, in European country, let's contact with me and I can have to gets an internship and um yes and if if anyone want to know more how how can i get a phd scholarship uh i'm willing to have you yes i think yeah okay thank you very much thank you very much um, if uh, we have time, I have, uh, of course, I don't have uh, a witness from uh, our program because uh, it's, it's new, but I have uh, um, something from uh, a previous dual degree student uh, who is actually living in New York and uh, it's, uh, a, a, uh, it's not an, a live witness, but it's uh, a, a videotape. Uh, I can show you. Okay, just a moment. Mm. 
Hello everyone, my name is Enrico Oliva, I am a civil and structural engineer. I graduated at the University of Cassino in 2004 as a civil engineer and in 2006 as a structural engineer. Uh, throughout those five years at the university, I have built incredibly important relationships, both with my friends and colleagues and with my professors. And through one of those, especially with Professor Maura and Bimbo, uh, I have also applied um, for a scholarship that led me to moving to New York City in January 2006. I am, in fact, the first recipient of a double degree from the University of Casino as well as Columbia University in the city of New York. I received a Master's of Science there in 2007, and since then I have lived and worked in New York City. Um, I started at Thornton Tomasetti in the city of New York in 2007, and I moved on to Werner Sobek, New York in 2016. Today I am a partner, Chief Operating Officer, Director of Structure, and Director of the Practice at Werner Sobek, New York, an international engineering and design practice. We work on projects throughout the world, projects of very different size and level of complexity. We work with many different types of materials and with architects that are all over the planet. My um, most important uh, connection has been the one with the University of Casino. It led me to moving here, it led me to starting my career, and it has been a big support and encouragement throughout the years. To this day, I keep in touch with the professors. I give lectures at the university whenever I get a chance to visit Italy and I have the time in between work meetings. I would like to encourage anyone who has an interest in engineering in considering the University of Casino as their starting point for a um, beautiful and exciting career. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Well, I think that we, uh, we have some other red, uh, video registration from uh, telecommunications engineering. Yes. Uh, yes. I have a couple for registration. Um, can you see the screen? Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Perfect. Okay. This is um, one of our students. And uh, uh, let's start. Buongiorno. Hello to everyone. My name is Anna from Republic of Italia. And now this, I'm, work I'm working in Bolivia. Vodafone Italia in the business solution department. And I'm graduated from the uh, of Cassino. I got master's degree in communication engineering. In, in, the, in the past, in 2015, and I was like you, I wanted to, to have an experience abroad. So I applied uh, in, uh, to Cassino going searching on, on Google, made just three clicks, sent my request, and once, after one month, I received the email on that and I accepted. So I packed my luggage, I got the ticket to Rome, and I'm here for the for five years. And to be honest, for these five years, I have never read of my choice. And to be honest, what I think, I truly think that University of Casino provides for students whatever they want to have, and exactly what I did. I wanted to have an experience in, in Ireland. I applied for trainship. Maybe you can switch off the microphone, Donald. Sorry. Sorry. Scholarship of Erasmus. I wanted to have uh, to study in Portugal. I st can you hear? Sorry. What happened? Donald, uh, maybe you can switch off your microphone since there was a little bit of echo from uh, Anna Borova and your uh, the problem computer. Is that the video oh. goes through my uh, my microphone. I think. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt you. Sorry. Go on. 
it was in Portugal in the Erasmus study program with a scholarship. So let's say Casino is a small, cozy city next to two big cities like Rome and Naples, but it has plenty of opportunity and plenty of possibilities. So six months before my graduation, I went to career day in Rome that was organized by Alma Lauria. And I found this opportunity working in, uh, in Vodafone. I was accepted after passing some interviews. And during these six months before my graduation, uh, thanks to support of professors, uh, Professor Miele, I, I was able to work and to do my thesis at the same time. So let's say, as, uh, as Walt Disney said, uh, if you can dream it, you can do that. So I truly believe that Casino is that city that that can you give you possibility of dreaming and of doing it good luck to everyone okay this is one and we have also another video okay mm -hmm. Hello everyone, nice to meet you. I'm Leo Du from Vietnam. I was a student at the University of Casino at South Lazio. My master course was in telecommunication engineering. Today I would like to share with you my experience in casino. For me, the Lions Casino is still comfortable. The studying abroad experience I believe everyone should have is really changed you the way you see the world. It's me discovering new friends new culture and new place. For studying, you have, have not only your fundamental knowledge, but also brought in the knowledge in any major you like. After finishing the exam, I decided to do the test uh, related to the multi-lesson scheme for 5G and the future of wireless cellular networks under the supervisor of Professor Buzzi. I highly recommend him for those who want to research the wireless technology. He is one of the best person I have ever known. Now I'm working for one of the biggest telecom operators in my country, in R&D department. My position is focusing on the new technology and research how to apply it in the commercial environment. You know, in today's global economy, employers always look for employees who have international experience. So it's your best bonus point and you will have the better career path. And the last one I would like to say thanks to all the professor and the staff of university. And for the newcomers, I hope you have a great time in casino and enjoy it. Okay. Um, well, uh, are there any other uh, video, uh, Fausto? No, no, not from my side. Neither from mine. Okay. So. Uh, Yes, uh, so I guess now it's time for questions. If students have uh, any question that they want to make, uh, or if any one of the professor or students want to answer to the in more in details to the question that have been raised in the chat during the meeting, that's the time. So if you have questions, please ask. Any students want to? A personal answer. Any teacher want to enter in details along the chat discussion? May I please, so two minutes? I don't know if there are some students uh, uh, who didn't join us uh, the first. Uh, uh, Laura, please present yourself. Laura. I'm Laura Morone from the International Office. I'm in charge for international incoming students in particular. 
And uh, I'm introducing you my office because I don't know if uh, someone of you uh, join us, uh, joined us in the first part of this presentation this morning. Uh, you may contact me for information about uh, the pre-admission documents, uh, not the requirements. Uh, the, the didactics, uh, the academic requirements may be asked to the professors responsible uh, for the degree programs, uh, but I may support you uh, for the, the application documents. Uh, and uh, uh, I will welcome you when uh, you will reach us in Cassino and support you with all uh, uh, the issues about uh, uh, Codice Fiscale, Permit to Stay, er Registration and Enrollment. And uh, I may give you also information about the tuition fees. Uh, I write you in the chat my email address again. And uh, I'm available also uh, to meet uh, with you on Google Meet. Uh, um, and I write you down uh, the days, uh, the day and the hours uh, I will available for you. That's all. Please ask if uh, you have any question. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Um, so, uh, there are any additional questions for students? So, maybe we can go towards the end of this meeting. I would ask Laura to stay tuned for, let's say, a couple more minutes if some students want, uh, need the time to think about and write. Uh, yes, there are some dish capal. Yes, please. Uh, there are questions. So, uh, Dishkapal, can you get the microphone on and asking? Dikshapal? Dikshapal, are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, uh, I cannot hear you. <clears throat> Hello, sir. I'm Junaid yeah. Shah from telecommunication engineering department <clears throat> i want to ask uh, about uh, if uh, <clears throat> the condition is not better so what will be the procedure for online classes and how we can pay our tuition fees or first semester or first year tuition fees uh, okay um so the, for the tuition fees, uh, this is the, must not be paid now, but uh, ad, uh, upon the enrollment. Uh, for this year, for the pandemic, uh, so the standard way is that you first come in casino and then pay the tuition fee, and then um, uh, you start classes. This year, you, we have this um, perspective that must be approved from the ministry uh, we are this the, uh, the university. All the universities in Italy are discussing with the ministry, with the government about that, about uh, enrollment under condition of visa release. That means that you uh, apply, get the enrollment, and then you are actually enrolled once the visa is released. Um, so this is a, a totally new situation. So in that case, uh, there will be the chance to pay by your home by credit card. But at the moment, uh, you can imagine, understand that this is uh, totally new to us, where there are no exact rules. Uh, up to the moment we get the rules, uh, from, uh, if we don't get the rules from the government, we cannot uh, start uh, the procedure. So unfortunately, uh, there is so much uncertainty right now. Italy is... Uh, going uh, slightly better with the virus uh, situation and probably in a couple of months uh, I think should be definitely more clear but at the moment we are cannot be much more precise than what I just said to you thank you my thank you so much sir thanks a lot okay there is uh, Okay, and I'm just uh, now reading the question by Discapa. Okay, uh, I, I, I read the lecture, uh, the, the, I read the question, and I, for which program are you interested, uh, Discapa?
Dixapal, for which program are you interested? In which program? Uh, by the way, um, I, I would suggest you to write an email to the chair of the program because you are kind of saying I cannot go through the whole uh, pre-admission process because I cannot get the documents needed for the pre-admission process. That's what I understand from your question. So I would recommend you to write to the uh, president or the chair of the master program you want to enroll. Uh, in that way, uh, it will suggest you the right way um, to you can adopt uh, to solve this issue. I would suggest that you can send uh, him or her the documents that you have and ask if they are enough to be considered for admission, pre-admission. That's my suggestion. But this is a matter of the program, so it depends on the program. But my, I, I would say once again, if you uh, can hear me, please write an email to the program chair and then ask him if you can submit directly to him not the the set of the documents you already have in your hand and then you will submit the orders later maybe this works you can hopefully you have heard me and everybody has understood i have a question sir yes please Janet, sir. so is there any accommodation or hostel for students in university area or university internal hostel yes uh, so there is an university hostel that is uh, for those who apply for the scholarships and win the scholarships. And uh, apart from that, there are many apartments in the city for students. And when you arrive, there will be some body students that will uh, help you to find uh, the right housing solution for you. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. Any other question from the audience? Okay, so it's just a pleasure for me to thank you all the participants. Uh, Laura Morone has uh, just uh, written in the chat uh, uh, the link to the Google Meet uh, a room that you can, where you can connect. She will be there every Wednesday from uh, May through May and June. Uh, so hopefully you, we will see you in person in Casino next year. We will be glad about that. Hopefully this meeting was uh, helpful. Thanks also to all the professors and uh, staff that uh, gave a contribution uh, in um, during this meeting. Also to Simona Damiz, you know, one uh, presented Simona. Simona wrote some answers. She's in charge of the teaching uh, office of the engineering department so for all the calendar uh, stories and uh, uh, classes study plans she's the person that is the right person to ask so thank you again for everybody uh once again uh, i ask laura and simona to stay for a couple minutes uh, connected on this room and see you next and possibly soon thank you very much thank you bye, bye. We, we bye. For you in Castillo. <laughs> bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Have a nice day. Bye bye. <laughs>